How long does it take to get a coding job? Self-taught. Three months. Just kidding. And if you've been following along on my YouTube channel for this long, you definitely know that that is absolutely not the case. Pretty much ever. This is a question that is so popular and is so often asked on my channel as if honestly I know the answer to everyone's question. At the broadest level, this question has so many different factors that go into its answer. Where you live, your current financial situation, your ability to learn new skills, your access to resources to learn those new skills and get good at those skills, the state of the market, and so on. There, there's so many different factors that go into answering the question. You really need to think about the context when asking it and answering it. It also depends on your goals. What are you looking for? What is a coding job? How do you define that? Are you looking to get a freelance coding job? Are you looking to get a nine to five coding job? Are you looking to start a startup? That question needs a lot more context. And so much of that is contingent upon what your goals are and how you define them. I think a lot of people come to my channel and they're looking to figure out how to get a coding job quickly and efficiently. I can relate the answer back to my own experience to give you a little bit of context into how someone else did it. And I'm sure you're watching other videos to get a little bit more context, but again, everybody is different. I started making money within my first year, and that was just through freelancing and doing little side projects for my friends, for my families, for past professors, and literally anybody who needed help just so I could get experience. Those were my first coding jobs, but my first coding job might look different from what you envision for your first coding job to be. Eventually, I took the skills and experience that I learned from freelancing, and I ended up applying those skills and getting a job as a web developer and then a web producer at various different companies, which led me to be able to get better jobs from there. All in all, it took me roughly two years from zero to an engineering job at a software company. So to answer your question a little more definitively, taking my personal experience, to get that first like engineering job, it took like two years. But for you, I don't know. Because again, it depends so much on the factors that I mentioned previously. Where do you live? Do you live in a big metropolitan area that has plenty of different job opportunities and opportunities to gain experience? freelance, side projects, et cetera. What is the market like right now? Is it a good market? Is it a bad market? Are there opportunities that are available to you dependent on the market? How much time do you have to dedicate learning to code? Do you have two hours a day? Do you have 30 minutes a day? Do you have five hours a day? When I first started, I was coding roughly four to five hours a day at the very least, but that's because I'd gotten laid off during the pandemic, which is when I first started learning to code. So I had a lot of time. So it depends on the time that you have, the energy that you have. Everyone's life scenario is different. I can tell you this though, that a lot of it really depends on your attitude and the amount of energy you're able to put into it every day. Because somebody who puts in 30 minutes of work over a year compared to somebody who puts in five hours of work over three months, those outputs might look completely different. My personal opinion, is that consistent effort often leads to fruitful rewards, but everybody learns in a different way. And I understand the impetus of trying to understand like a definitive timeline, but frankly, I think that if you're thinking about it that way, you're sort of approaching the question and the problem wrong. There's a much better way to approach this question. You have to remember that learning to code is a lifelong skill. I'm only a few years into my journey and I still consider myself kind of to be an amateur because I'm always learning. You might stay in this industry for the rest of your life and you're still going to be learning even if you become a master or however you want to define it. So you kind of have to look at it big picture rather than, oh, well, how long is it going to take for me to get an engineering job at a software company? You might get that first engineering job that you've always wanted and it might take you six months, but even after that, you might continue and are likely to continue to get these engineering jobs. And even then when you're jumping jobs and learning new industries, you're still going to be learning. It's adopting Adopting this mentality that it's a lifelong thing and it's a skill that is always going to be fruitful because it's likely always going to be in demand in some way, shape, or form because technology is so important. So again, if you're asking the question, you're thinking about it wrong. You should just be concerned with learning and getting as much experience as possible so that you can continue to sharpen your skill set and grow your career in this industry. Ultimately, that's what will set you apart. Not trying to have a definitive timeline of what amount of energy output time it will take to get from zero to 100, right? So you obviously wanna consider all of these factors. You wanna start out small and get that foundational skill set and just start to get that experience. Maybe try to let go of the idea of getting like a coding job, self-taught or through a bootcamp or whatever it is. 
you have to just start getting experience. Go put yourself out there, be a little bit bold. When I first started out, I was doing WordPress websites for small businesses. And like I said, I was building websites for my friends who happened to be musicians. They needed landing pages. I was doing web consultations for friends and family, helping them optimize their sites. All of that experience ended up snowballing and it culminated into me getting a job that I was kind of hoping to get all along, but it took a lot of time and effort and energy. And that time, effort, energy is contingent upon so many different life circumstances that need to be considered. If you really want it and you have a positive attitude and you're thinking with abundance and that there are a lot of opportunities out there, no matter what your life circumstance is, I truly do believe that anybody can go ahead and get that coding job that you want. You gotta start somewhere. So my message to you is this, just do the thing. Just you have to just put yourself out there. Take that course on Udemy or Free Code Camp or whatever resource you're using to learn the skills that you're hoping to learn to get wherever it is that you're looking to get to, right? And in this day and age, it's so easy to get paralyzed by options. You're surfing through YouTube videos, trying to figure out what's the best way to get started. What resources should I use? Try not to focus too much on all of those things. You have to just pick one thing and start to get the skill set so that you can eventually begin getting experience. Experience teaches harsh, but it teaches best. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to fall flat on your face, admittedly, but that's how you learn. And before you know it, you start to get that experience. You start to build your resume and people recognize that and they want your skill set. They want your experience. They want your communication skills, your technical skills, and it begins to snowball for you. But you have to keep a positive attitude and just put the energy in as much as you can every day within your bandwidth of energy. So all in all, how long does it take to get a coding job self-taught for you? I don't know. But again, I can tell you that I had a positive attitude and this is what I wanted. So I put the energy in and I allotted myself a certain amount of time every day and I just did it. I just did the thing. So I don't mean to be vague and dodgy when trying to answer the title of this YouTube video, but it's true. And I think anybody that gives you like a definitive timeline, I would be a little bit wary of trusting that advice. No judgment. It's just my bull take. So do what you can with the resources that you have. Start putting yourself out there. Get some experience. Get your feet wet. And you'll see that the more that you put the energy out there, it will come back to you. You have to just start somewhere. There's no definitive answer to this question. As always, I'll link a few resources that I think might provide you some value, a place to start your coding journey. And if you like this video, obviously go ahead and like it so we can get it out to more people so that we can help more people. And if you really like the content, go ahead and subscribe. I make a lot of content that looks like this, that concerns career development, anything in the professional realm, general life advice, and so on. So obviously go watch another video. I've got plenty. Thanks again for your time today, and I will see you soon. Peace.